Wait, are those onions? I only like onion rings. out of it. How did you get cheese inside of me? I love the cheese. I'm gonna like dip it in the cheese or something. That's so weird and good. Love it. We might need a napkin now. Ah! Big burger. It's a burger with Little French fries. It tastes good. This is amazing. I love it. It has this weird sauce. Is that BBQ? It kind of reminds me of one of those burgers from the eating competition. I would have this 24-7 if I had a chance. It's sort of good, but I wouldn't eat it every day. That's the only two thumbs I have. It deserves 10 thumbs up. Okay. Wait, rice? Okay, so I see an egg, a burger, meat, and then gravy. Mm. Oh my God, this looks so good. What? That is good. Whoa, look at this egg, it's like, hmm. It's really good. It tastes so different than I thought. Do you consider that a burger? No. Yes. It's a meal, not, a burger is like. It doesn't have a bun, it has an egg, and it has rice. It's not a classic burger, but it's like a breakfast type of burger. I call it. The runny egg dinner on the go. It's called the Loco Moco. <laughs> Can I laugh at that? I definitely would eat this for breakfast. What is this sign? It looks like it, so maybe it's from California. What, did you make like good hamburgers there? Let me see. I can't take it all. Oh, pretty good. Ah, uh, I can't take, ah, ah. Kind of has like a sweet taste to it. If it's soft on this side, it's like kind of hard on this side. Something like chewy inside, like chicken. It's pretty good. So what if I told you that burger was made out of plants? Just give me a second. Wow, I was way off. I did not see the difference. This is probably one of the burgers I have most enjoyed. California um, plant meat. Like, why not? Like, scientists have a big imagination most of the time. I would rate this definitely a 10. these little green things in it are. It looks like salad. I feel like it's jalapeno. Mm -hmm. ah, that's really spicy. Oh, wait, wait, where did it go? It's a little spicy, but not that spicy. Look at all of this pepper, like, oh my God. It's just like really, really melty and goopy. I would name it like the blow your tongue off burger. It's called the green chili burger. If I could redo it, I would just make a cheeseburger without the green chilies. This might take a while. What? Okay. It's falling apart. It has coleslaw on it, I think. 
and maybe chili. Oh. oh. That's really good. First of all, I've never had a burger that has stuff dripping down the sides, which is pretty fun. This is so good. Are you jealous? It's mild, but it has this tiny kick that you notice. Honestly, I wouldn't go to a burger store and be like, okay, I'll have chili, cabbage, and carrots, but after eating this, I might actually do that. Recommendation, I would not eat this on a first date or when you're out in public. Very messy and probably embarrassing. I don't know, it just seems like a, kind of like a dad thing to eat. The dad thing is eating burgers like this and being awesome like a dad. Same with the mom, but not eating the giant burgers. Julian, moms eat giant burgers too. Let's say it's like a triple burger, like this thick. Okay, a woman would eat that. Yeah, I really like it. Nap, napkin. <laughs> This bunny is a square. To me, it looks like a circle square. Small hamburgers. Are these white castle burgers? So this is a castle? I live in it. White castle made the hamburger bun part of the way you eat a hamburger. I did not know white castle could be so historic. The bun helps you not get messy. It makes it easier to hold. That's cool. I just drive by White Castle saying, eh, White Castle. Now I'm like, whoa, White Castle. What is that? Tastes like peanut butter. Are there nuts in here? This slice kind of looks like corn because of the details, like rows of corn around the corn cob. Looks kind of like it also has other stuff. Butter. Pineapple. Mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise. Blech. Blech. Mmm. This is so good. What part of this burger do you like? The mayonnaise. Very disgusting. I'm going to save a slice for later. a burger wrapped. Why do I need a spoon? Don't need a burger with a spoon. I think this is a very messy burger. Mm, it tastes good. I've never had a pickle on my burger before. I know. And I actually really like it because it gives it a little bit of a kick and a bit of tang. I like how the bread tastes. It tastes like chili. I also think it's really interesting how the meat is more like um, taco meat. It looks like chili, I think. I like eating it with a spoon. That's fun. This is called the loose meat sandwich. That makes so much sense. The meat keeps falling out. Do you think it counts as a burger? Yes. Burgers don't always have like the same thing, but it just has to have a meat in it to be a burger. It's delicious. It's, um, this is like a so soupy burger, is that the name? It's like a melted, I, I have no clue even what it is. Bread with like Whoa. marinara sauce and bits of look what's, chicken. Look what's in the bottom layer. I, I don't even know how, how you would eat it. Like, would you pick it up with your hands like that? Oh. What is that? It's like a regular burger with some sort of meat, something inside, and they just like melted it. Look at that. Wait. It melted. I don't think really anybody would enjoy this that much if it was served at a restaurant. 
Why don't you actually try to buy the bed? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna leave that right there. I don't want to eat any more of this sloppy burger. I don't blame you. <laughs>